What's up, YouTube? This is Black Big Mac coming to you live from a location unknown, somewhere in the great state of West Virginia. I am currently in downtown Charleston, West Virginia. This little city, it's actually a big city, this city, I actually have an endearing place in my heart for this city. Quite endearing, in fact. Um, right now, we are standing on a Kanawha River. This is quite a large river. Um, people can ride their personal watercraft on there. Uh, I thought I would give you guys a quick little tour of downtown Charleston, West Virginia. By the time you watch this video, I will be many, many miles away being cuckish in my van. Here's a little fun fact for you guys. I almost got killed in this city, Charleston, West Virginia. I almost got killed. I was riding a scooter from New York City down to Dallas, Texas, and I got caught on a freeway out here, and uh, let's just say I was about mm, this close to being ran over by a semi-truck quite uh, an interesting uh, hair raising situation I was in if I had any hair but anyways let's jump on the old scooter let's jump on the old scooter and let's just take a quick jaunt through uh, downtown Charleston let's roll out guys so we are currently going down Kanawha Boulevard approaching pretty much the epicenter of downtown Charleston, West Virginia. Look to your right, guys. That's a beautiful scene. You got the river. It's a bright, sunny day here in Charleston, West Virginia. There's plenty to do out here. Uh, you can slam heroin. You can beat your wife. There's many lovely activities that are offered to you in this lovely little town. Not a, actually a little town, but a big town. That is called Charleston, West Virginia. So here's a little fun fact for you guys. In 1815, a man by the name of Captain James Wilson was drilling here for salt brine and he vowed that he would drill to hell if he was necessary. Well, he struck a large flow of gas and it ignited and burned a huge flame, apparently fulfilling the captain's original vow. I basically just read that. That has got to be like one of the easiest jobs ever the captain of a barge all you got to do is just run up and down the river drinking vodka all day until you crash into something and kill people i think uh, about 20 years ago there was actually a captain of a barge down in mississippi i think he struck a bridge he killed like three people so every time i see these barges i always think about that one story the guy was hammered at work pretty interesting standing right outside the world famous Capitol Market here in downtown Charleston, West Virginia. Hey, check out this sign right here, guys. No loitering, no standing, no waiting, no smoking, no profanity, no bubbing, no vaping, no drugs. Well, what the fuck can you do here? What kind of horses. Anyways, let's just go inside and see what the fuck's in here. Uh, really quickly, uh, if, uh, let's see, come on in. Okay, so uh, this looks to uh, be some type of an outdoor uh, farmer's market. Uh, you know, um, you know those places where white people love to go and overpay for vegetables. You know, put something organic, put a put an organic sticker on the fucking apple, try to sell it for two dollars. Yeah, one of these fucking joints. 
So anyways, um, let's go uh, let's go take a look at some vegetables, guys. Yeah, that's got to be really interesting, right? Yeah, that must be right up Adam the Woo's alley. Let's go look at some vegetables. All right, uh, we got some. Uh, we got some tomatoes. We got, you know, I was wrong. The, the prices of this fruit is actually pretty fantastic. We got some nectarines for 99 cents. We got these peaches at $1.99. Hey, that's pretty much on par with the uh, with supermarkets. This ain't too bad. This ain't too bad at all. If I uh, if I had a home, I would totally buy some vegetables. But I'm homeless, so I guess I won't be buying anything. It's great. It's just great. So I am walking inside of Capital Market. Uh, this appears to be one of those places that people that think that they're cool come and hang out. Uh, they got beards. They wear one of those funny derby hats. You know, hipsters. Looks like a place for hipsters. They come over here and they drink their $4 coffee. You know, I don't know. I'm not really feeling this place right now. I'd much rather be on the street in my scooter. As a matter of fact, I want to tell you something really quick. Now, I've never tricked out in my life, right? I've never tricked out in my life. But there was a prostitute that was hanging out down the street, maybe about two miles down the road from here. And she was like wearing like a, like a midriff shirt, right? Like a midriff shirt. Now, I've never tricked in my life. I've never, ever paid for sex. You know, if I ever paid for sex, you know I would tell you guys if I did or not. And I never have. But that chick, I swear to God, she had a nice body for a disgusting heroin whore, a pro, uh, prostitute skank bitch. I would, I would totally give her thirty dollars for, I don't know, some sex. But I don't know. I, I part of me always feels bad, and plus I'm really not horny right now because I was like up all night in this morning watching XHamster.com, so I'm like totally drained. So, anyways, uh, let's jump on the scooter. Let's go check out some more crap. easily always tell how economically depressed the city is just by going to its local Goodwill store. There's fucking nothing in here, just a bunch of garbage. And then the lady comes up to me, uh, excuse me sir, you're gonna have to leave your bag. No, I'm not leaving my bag. No, this is like my purse, okay? That's like asking a woman to leave her purse, okay? A woman has everything in her purse and I, bigot, have everything in my bag and I'm not leaving my bag. So you fucking corporate cuckolds at Goodwill, stop telling your workers to have guys leave their bag. No one's stealing your bullshit here, okay? No one's stealing your fucking broken ass garbage. Everything in there was broken or stained or disgusting. I don't know. And then this guy is like, <laughs> is like all fucking huffing and puffing next to me when I'm like looking at these broken ass things over there. I'm like, what'd you do? Run a race against Usain Bolt? Lay off the fucking cigarettes, you old bastard. Anyways, I'm getting too angry right now. I'm cutting the video. I'm getting really tired. I'm about to go to my van and cuck out for a while. So, peace out. Please subscribe, Black Bigot X. Check out my main channel, Black Bigot. And uh, I'll be back. Uh, you know how I do it. And momentito. Peace out, guys.